Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to start your own K-Packs by creating an insert for KidOps Pro. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a basic, uh, a simple, really simple insert. That way you just get the fundamentals on how to create these inserts for yourself. You can worry about the details of them later. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I'm going to start off with a plane, something simple. I'm going to go into my... Uh, my tab mode to my face. I'm using mesh tools. So you should be able to get this for a dollar on Blender Market or it's absolutely free on Gumroad, wherever you choose to get it from. But I use this so it makes everything quicker from selecting from the top. So I'm going into my face mode. I'm uh, selecting all. I'm going to extrude it up a little bit like so. Um, and I'm going to go tab into my edge mode and I'm going to grab each edge here by itself and I'm kind of just gonna double it in a little bit just to give it you know some kind of framing look so and then I'm gonna tab back over to face grab the face I'm gonna inset with I a little bit and then I'm gonna hit E extrude and go whoop sorry E extrude and go down now I always go down and bottom out and then I come back up just to know you know to know where I'm at so we're gonna go to about about that far. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I to extrude again, or uh, inset, I'm sorry, and then E to extrude up. And then I'm just going to kind of B for bevel. And we're just going to chamfer that edge a little bit. And then I'm going to grab the face once again and just kind of push it down. So it's kind of like dipping in. Or, you know, yeah, right about there. Go to my object and I'm going to sharpen it using Hard Ops. I use Hard Ops and Box Cutter. Uh, all the links will be in the description of the video of all my add-ons. So yeah, this is looking good right here. So my next move would be to add another mesh. I would do, a, let's say, a cube. Scale this down. I'm going to make this, I'm going to make kind of like a vent. So I'm going to make this real thin, almost like a vent. Bring it over to the side, scale it down. Bring it up a little bit, look at it from this side, stretch it to the end, like so, and make it even thinner. So yeah, that looks kind of cool. So now I'm going to isolate it by itself, which I'm going to select it, and I'm going to hit Shift H, uh, and then I'm going to hit Tab into my edge mode, and I'm going to select this edge right here, and I'm going to select this edge right here and then I'm going to just scale it down so it comes in like that tab out and then I'm going to hit alt H to bring everything back so yeah that's kind of looking cool um, okay so I'm going to slide this back a little bit <clears throat> so let's see let's scale it up that's kind of cool looking and make sure it's not poking out any sides of the bottom and we're good and I'm going to use my hard ops uh, array v2 I hit X to get on my plane and I'm just going to step it out and then roll my wheel I'm just rolling my mouse for the vents that's about right, right? something like that yeah it looks about cool I can Possibly, I could probably slide these over. Whoop, I don't want to move that one. I have to grab this, slide this over just a little bit. That's, that looks about right. So, yeah, cool. So, that's where I'm at. Okay, so I'm going to go into my, my dev mode and we're going to go into the materials. And let's say we use like a, a plastic dark matte for the outside and then obviously some kind of metal vents for the inside so that looks kind of cool I like to zero these scales out on the metals they look smoother to me so yeah it's kind of like a little vent right now so um, that looks good to me so I add emissions to mine, so I'm going to show you how I do that at this point. Um, 
I'm going to hide the vent H to hide that. Then I'm going to go select the bottom here and go in the face. I'm going to grab just these four, four faces right here, which is kind of cool. Um, then I'm going to hit I for inset and I'm going to make them, you know, kind of like that. Just like little emitters, uh, go to the material, um, add a new material. Um, I, I knew I need mine GB color CLR one or some shit like that. that that'll work. Uh, for this instance, and then I'll change it to an emission. Uh, I'll pick a color. I like blue. And then I'll make it like five strength, and then I'll tell it to assign, and then tab out of that. And then there's basically the emission on it. Um, <clears throat> maybe make it like 10. Yeah, a little brighter. And then Alt H to bring back the vent, and then there you go. And it kind of bounces light off the vent, which is cool. Okay, so now that that's done, this is pretty much our insert. We just need to make the cutter for it. So now that it, and set the inset. So when we place it, so I'm going to go back to solid mode. I go to the top mode and I'm going to add a mesh again. I didn't change the size, so it's coming in the same exact size. So what you need to do is scale just a little bit larger because it has to have breathing room in order to cut and just scaled it a little bit. Then I'm going to go into my face mode and then I'm going to extrude it straight up until it's all covered and then tab out of that. Yes. Yeah, so now you can't see it at all. Select the box and then go to the, the object properties and then the viewport display, change that to wire. And then I'm going to actually command a and just hit apply scale to this. And then I'm going to go into my edges, select the edges, and then go to my top view and orthographic mode. And then I'm going to bevel these right until I'm about to hit the art. And then I just stop like right about there. Tab out of that. So basically that's the cutter. So and the cutter, you want to just make it a little bit below the, the geo or the actual insert doesn't want to you don't want it to touch it it's got to have breathing room around the whole thing basically uh at this point i would hit my number pad one and then five and then where this red red line is is consider that your surface of the object you're going to place it on so right now this is going to just set right on top of the surface so what we need to do is we need to select all with a and then we're going to just grab this and move it down and where the red is, is where it's going to inset. So basically right here would be too far, but this would be just about sticking out a little bit. So we're going to try it right about, right about there. That's a good spot. Now you're going to select all, would all select it. And then you're going to go control A and you're going to hit all transforms. Okay. And then at this point, <clears throat> uh, wait a minute, something happened there. Uh, let me see. Maybe I have to, maybe if I apply this array, I won't have a problem with that. So select all, all transforms. Yeah, we're good. We're okay. So if you have modifiers, I guess apl apply them before you make the insert, but you don't have to, some of them work. That one did not. So, um, also before we finalize this, we can try probably, um, basically you're going to, you have the three planes here. You're going to grab this. You're going to have to parent them together and you're going to have to go by the bounding box. So the bounding box has to be the parent. So you're going to have to select that first. And then I hit a to select all, and then I'm going to hit parent object. So now everything's parented as one plane. So at this point, I'm going to go into, this is where I create the insert. Right now, we were just designing in Blender right here in Kit Ops. I'm going to hit Create Insert. Now, <clears throat> it's parented to the plane. The plane must be the main object, and it must be set to color, cutter with difference. Now, main object, cutter, and difference to the wireframe. And as you can see, it's already cutting into the object and it looks like it's a really good inset.
So you can see it right there. If you look underneath, you'll see how much it's setting in. So that looks good to me. So I hit it. So then you're going to name the insert. Okay. I'm going to call it uh, vent insert new. Uh, then you would put your author name, uh, you know, I guess Greasy Bear. Um, and then I hit save insert. And then I have a folder called batch where I save all my inserts. So I'm just going to save it. And then at this point, you would click run, render thumbnail and then close the factory scene. But I'm going to close the factory scene now because I have my own render set up for thumbnails because I have batch. So I'm going to go to a new file and don't save. I'm going to go to batch, open my render blend file. And then I have this render decals blend set up. It's already got the lighting, the background, everything I like about it. And then I'm going to load this up to batch. Get my, here's my vent new, load the insert, align to camera, and then hit test then test thumb render. And then there you go. That looks perfect. The insets, perfect. So I'm going to close this and hit batch render. Okay, once it disappears, it's done. If you're doing a batch, it might take a while, but doing one at a time, it's really fast. So new file don't save. And then I'm going to go to this batch and I have to grab the view new insert and the preview for it. And I'm going to copy that. And then I have a tech box I'm working on. I'm just going to paste it into there. So it's in there now. And then I close this and I can hit refresh. While that's refreshing, I'll bring up a cube and I'll just, there you go. Uh, and here we go. So I'll go to the detect boxes and we'll look for our vert insert new, which is this one right here. I will select that and we hit add insert and we're going to scale it up. And it looks pretty good. I'm going to, to make the cube the matte finish of the vent so it matches and I'll turn off our overlay and then I'll put it in dev mode. And there we have it. And there's your first insert to start your K-Pack. And yeah, it's that simple. And that's really not that bad. So that's the first way to start your K-Pack is to start rolling out by easy things like this. But I mean, you can make them more detailed or whatever you want to do. But <clears throat> for the most part, that's how you would create an insert for KidOps and start making your own K-Packs. So I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I hope you learned from it. And I'd like to see some stuff out there, man. So show me what you got. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Bye-bye.